Hi guys! Welcome, Welcome back, back to another, another weekend, weekend vlog. vlog! So uh, for this weekend vlog, karugtong to ng vlog number 15 namin. Yep. Yung how to apply for a student permit. Ito yun. So basically doon, we knocked through lang namin kayo sa step by step paano mag process, ano yung mga kailangan. Yeah. But this time, we're going to walk you through kung saan nyo isa submit yung application, na application form, requirements, yes. paano yung malalaman yung requirements. Not so, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Before we proceed there, any message for them, love? Meron! Thank you po sa mga nag-subscribe na at sa mga hindi pa po nag-subscribe, please subscribe. Yeah, marami pa kami po. Yes, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Mm. And so now, meron kaming mag may magiging isa pang screen dito. Ire-record namin sa laptop namin yung step by step paano mag-create ng account, saan mag-create ng account and all that. So it's gonna be very straightforward and very quick. For these steps, yung guidelines or yung step by step na gagawin natin, madidivide siya sa dalawang part. So yung first part, yun yung mga applicants na mga single, mga hindi pa married, yeah. gustong mag-aaral dito. Tapos yung pangalawang part naman ay yung, yung mga, mga married na, yung mga gustong dalhin yung family nila dito. Gustong dalhin yung asawa, asawa yung anak, ganon. Very similar lang talaga. Meron lang doon sa yung mga married na or may mga pamilyang gustong dalhin dito, meron lang iibahin doon na sagot doon sa eligibility ah, questions, which is makikita nyo yes. maya maya. So, Without further ado, let's begin. begin! So, okay guys, so assuming na lang meron na kayong designated learning institution, yeah. na-accept na kayo sa school nyo, uh -huh. right? Tapos nabigay na nila sa inyo yung letter of acceptance and yung um, evidence of work requirement during your study. Uh -huh. Now, let's proceed to your applying visa. to your student visa um, application. Okay. So, ano yung mga requirements or ano yung mga kailangan nilang i-ready lang? Before anything else, kailangan mo ng professional email address. Okay? Mm -hmm. Access sa printer at scanner. Mm -hmm. And up-to-date full version ng Adobe. Okay? At saka, method of payment. Credit card. Mastercard, Visa, or Amex. Okay. And of course, I would advise na pag nabigay na ng school mo or yun ang DLI mo yung letter of acceptance mo and yung evidence mo for work requirement and study, I suggest magpa-medical na kayo at magpa-NBI clearance na kayo agad. Yung medical naman will expire in like a year. Yung NBI din ata, I guess, two years. So, it doesn't really hurt na mag maging ready na kayo para smooth sailing na lang tayo sa application nyo for the visa. Upload, upload na lang ng document. Yes, sir! Okay, so... I guess we're all set. Let's move on to the website. the website. Okay, so first of all, you have to create your account sa Canadian Immigration um, Citizenship. So, isearch mo na lang CIC Canada na lang. Canada. Okay. okay. Enter. Enter. Okay. Now, dito ka sa sign in or create in. an okay, account. So yes. Simple and easy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then go. Tapos, gagawa nga tayo ng account, di ba? So, ano gagawin mo? So, register. Register. Uh, wala pa account, so mag-register ka. Yes. So ngayon, sige, scroll down lang. Scroll, scroll lang. And then, register with GCQ. Mm -hmm. Hindi GCQ, GCQ. And then, dun ka sa sign up. Sign up, guys. Yeah. I accept. Accept natin yan. So anyways, dito talaga, madami talagang mga chechaburetche na dyan. Pero nga, nandito nga kami ni Mark para tulungan na kayong mapabilis na lahat. Kasi isa lang din naman ng direction or ng patutukuhan na natin. So pabilisin na natin ang lahat. Yeah, okay, lang. Yeah, you go and create your username. So like what I said, kailangan discreet, professional. Uh, yan na. Continue. Okay. Continue. And then create your passwords. So syempre, secret namin yung password. Okay, so anything na lang. So dito guys, kung makikita nyo dito sa right hand side, meron nakalagay password checklist. So ito yung guide mo. Ano yung kailangan, uh, na, kailangan mong password? Ano yung description ng effective na password? Mm -hmm. So kailangan mong ma-meet tong criteria na to. Mm -hmm. Okay? So ang password na lang natin, love, yung, yung parang sa'yo. Okay na, ang layo ko. Ayan na. Okay. Si lahat nag-check ko. Lahat green, no? Oh, oh my God. Ngayon, you have to just match your Yo, like match, guys. So. so everything, uh, all the criteria has been met. Yes. So now you can continue. Good, nothing continue. Yes. Now, 
we would have to complete the recovery question. So, kailangan nyo guys, yung mga question na ilalagay nyo dito ay dapat yung hindi nyo makakalimutan para just in case na makalimutan yung password mo or whatever, meron kang backup. Yes. So, my memorable person, siguro si Mama na lang. Okay? Something. So, you guys, huwag nyo kakalimutan yung username nyo, ha? So, si Mark, i-walk through niya tayo. Siya na lang ang magta-type. Ako na lang ang mag-guide sa kanya. Okay. Given, Given name, name Mark. Mark. Last name, Lynn Tag. Yes. Email address of Mark. Siya. 2110 at Gmail. Ay, mali. 0110 pala. <laughs> 0110 at gmail.com <laughs> Okay. Preferred language of notification? English. English. Continue. Pwede lang kung marunong mag-French. Okay. So, oh. gagawa ka ngayon ng mga security questions mm. mo just in case na makalimutan yung password mo, may backup ka. Mm. Go ahead lang. Where, Where do, do I, I live now? Live now. Country. Okay. Richmond. Richmond. Which province? Yon. Which province? Yon. Okay. Continue. Continue again. There you ah. go. So, si ipinakita na sa ni CIC. So, after mong gumawa ng username mo, papagawan kanya ng account. Tapos, after nun, i-redirect kanya dito sa account mo. Actually, dito mo makikita yung mga status ng application mo, ano na yung, may mga updates dito ang CIC, kung halimbawa may kulang sa papers mo. Basta, very useful tong, uh, web, tong page na to. So, ito yung parang Facebook page mo ngayon. Ah, ano profile. Na? Yes. So, so, anong gagawin natin? Gusto natin mag-apply to Canada. Okay, dito tayo guys. I-click mo yan. Click natin yung apply to so, sabi dyan, personal reference code. Please enter your personal reference code to begin your application. Oh. Meron ka bang personal reference code, love? Wala. wala so, wala kang ilalagay dyan. Ah. So, ngayon, scroll up mo. Up, up, up. And, oh. Determine. So, next step is you have to determine your oh, eligibility. eligibility and apply online. online. So, ano bang, ano bang pipiliin mo dyan? Study. Course, study. So, click the visit or study. Mm, oh, here we go. Or study. Okay, so find out if you're eligible to apply. So this page right now um, is very, very important. So you have to answer it with, you know, all honesty, all accuracy. Kasi um, ito, nakasalalay dito sa mga questionnaire na to love kung ano yung mga magiging requirement nila papunta dito sa Canada. Ah. Kung ano yung applicable sa sitwasyon mo, sa case mo. So, let's answer one by one and all together. So, what would you like to do in Canada? I want to study. Yes. How yeah, long are you planning to stay in Canada? More than six months. Yes. Kasi ay yung course mo two years. Yung program. Program. Good. Select the code that matches the one on your passport. So, ibig sabihin, wait lang. Oh. Wait lang muna. So, alimbawa, hindi mo maintindihan to pala, guys. Meron oh. question mark sa side. Tapos, nandun yung, ano, ikiklik mo lang yung question mark. Tapos, nandun yung ibig sabihin ng mm. question na yun. So, sabi nga, find code on your passport information. Issuing country authority or country code. So, ibig sabihin, ano yung nandun sa passport mo? Uh, sa ang bansa ni release yung password mo kung ay password mo yung passport, passport. mo kung baga so saan ngayon sa Philippines, Philippines. so itatag mo P ay no I'll just find it I'll look for it okay you go okay dan dan na para di na hihilo mga malam so punta na lang sa letter P Philippines PHL okay so anong next question what is your current country or territory of residence? If you're presently in Canada, you should select in Canada. E nasan ka ba? Sa Philippines. So, you select mo ulit. Try mo ngayon, P. Ay, yun siya pin. Sige, di ba tayo sa letter P. Sorry po sa mga nanonood. Yun, Philippines. Perfect. Next question. Do you have a family member who is Canadian citizen or permanent resident? And is 18 years old or older? No. None. No. What is your date of birth? Eh, di birthday ka na lang. Hulaan niya birthday ka, may giveaway. Hulaan <laughs> <laughs> eh, yan na nga yung birthday. Ito na pala, oh, don't skip the video. 
Phil 26. Okay, kaya naman yung mga may gustong magagalit dyan. Padala yun na. Okay, now next. Yeah, next natin. Five. So, next question. Are you a lawful permanent resident of the United States with a valid U.S. citizenship and immigration services? No. Oh, so you click. No. Next. Okay, have you been accepted to a designated learning institution? Yes! Yes! Mm -hmm. So, yes, love. <laughs> yes! Next! Next! Have you visited or lived in any of the designated countries for six consecutive months in Lear? No! Hindi ko pa naman nagpunta ng Canada, di ba? Kapunta ka pa lang. Kapunta ka pa lang. Next! Have you had a medical performed by an IRCC authorized panel physician in the last 12 months? Ano sinabi ko kanina? Kailangan mo na mag-apply ng medical examination para ang answer mo dito is yes. Okay. Next. Do you have a guaranteed investment certificate GIC of at least ten thousand? Ten thousand? Ten thousand? Ten thousand. No, lagi mo no. Did you pay for your first tuition in full? No. Have you taken language test? So, this is the IELTS that we are calling or even what we are calling. That's what we said in our first vlog. In vlog 15. In the case of my brother, he is not required. He is not required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I said no. So, no. Maybe if you are in the case of your school, you can say yes. So, it depends on you. It depends on the school. On the school. What is your marital status? Single and never married. Sa dulo yon. Yes. What is your province of destination? British Columbia. Say for example, sa British Columbia. Yeah, British Columbia tayo. Nandun yung school mo. At saan dito kami? Punta dito. Okay. What did it say? You may be eligible to come to Canada as a student. So, you want to go ahead and continue. Continue tayo. Okay, continue. Continue mo ulit. And then, do you have a valid work permit or study permit and need a visa to return? Sabihin mo dyan kasi wala ka pa namang study permit. Mag-a-apply pa lang tayo. So, sabihin mo? No. Yes. And then, next? Are you an exchange student? No. No, hindi ka exchange student. Is work an essential component of your studies? Yes. Are you a spouse, common law partner, or child of certain? No. Single ka nga, di ba? So, no. A participant in Canadian aid program for developing countries? Nope. Nope. Next. Are you accompanying a family member that has status in Canada? Nope. Nope. Next. Have you ever committed, been arrested? Nope. Bawal yan. Sa mga yun. Do you want to submit an application for... Nope. No, student ka lang. No, tsaka mag-isa ka lang. Tsaka mag-isa ka lang pupunta. Okay, are you giving someone access to your application? No, because you are the only one who processes the paper. Next. In the past 10 years, have you ever given your fingerprints or biometrics? No. No, not yet. Not yet. There are fees associated with the application. Well, yes, I will be paying. Will you be paying? Yes, you will be paying. Yes. Next. Are you able to make digital copy of your documents with a scanner or camera? Yes! Because you have a printer and a scanner. Or a computer shop. Computer shop. Open time. Will you be paying your application fees online? To pay online, you can use a credit card. We said that in the beginning. So hit. Yes! Alright, so you gotta review your answer. So check mo muna. Tapos siguro kung may mali ka dyan. Pwede mo namang i-edit. But I don't think, I doubt. So, yan, yan, yan. Now, we're going to go ahead and continue. continue. Oh. Alright, so, again, next part is, ibibigay sa'yo dito yung guideline, ano yung requirements na kailangan mong i-meet. So, yung mga document daw, kailangan naka-PDF. So, see, nandiyan, oh. PDF. Tapos, kung may mga picture kang i-upload, kailangan naka-JPEG or TIFF or PNG. Tapos, uh, maximum size lang ay 4 megabytes for each document. So you gotta make sure. And then if you're gonna go, you're going to scan the um, the document into the system, kailangan mo i-ensure na nakaset siya 96 dots per inch. Ito yung parang required, minimum requirement para clear yung 
um, resolution ng document. Okay. Yep, so very straightforward. And then... Now we go and hit continue. Alright! So, andito na yung document checklist mo. Pakibasa lang? Application for study permit made outside of Canada. Required. Required. Okay, scroll down. Scroll down tayo. Dito na. Evidence of work requirement study required. Letter, Letter of, of acceptance. acceptance required. Passport required. Proof, the proof of financial oh. support required. required. Now, digital photo is required. I mean, digital photo, this is gonna be for your visa. So, nandito yung ano, requirement ng size and everything. So, iprint mo na lang to. Tapos ipakita mo to sa photo center. Sa photo center, kung sino magtitig ng picture mo. Tapos, ito, ibigay mo ito yung requirement. So, yeah. Uh, alam na nila so scan, upload, and then this one, it's an IMM form again that you need to download in your um, full version of Adobe, complete the deed, complete the paperwork accordingly, and then upload. And then optional documents are application for a temporary resident via. Ito yung ia upload mo yung magsusulat siya ng letter ng oh, goals, oh, goals ng studyante, oh. bakit magusto ng pumunta ng yeah, Canada, yeah, bakit, okay. bakit magusto ng mag-aaral. So, kailangan mo i-explain yan sa client dito sa letter nito. Alright, so after nun, pag na-upload mo na lahat to, ganito na yung magpapakita. Ting! <laughs> so, nakalagay na dyan, na-upload na lahat, ready to go, and then, pag once na kasi na na-upload na lahat-lahat, complete mo na, meron dito magpapakita, pay your fees. So, remember yung sinabi namin, yung study permit mo, or yung Yung visa application mo is worth 150 and then yung biometrics mo is worth 85. Pay the fees. Okay, so after na nun, nung nabayaran mo na yung application mo and yung biometrics mo, pakita ko sa inyo yung naging um, sumunod na na, syempre hindi natin magawa dun. So gamitin natin yung account ng kapatid ko ni Charlene. Okay, love. So dun tayo sa, ito yung profile niya. So pakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung sined nung CIC yes, or ng IRCC nung nakabayad na siya ng payment ng application so, so we go check full application status pakita namin sa inyo hindi lang down 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 yun okay so oh pala papakita ko rin dito yung di ba nalala nyo yung sinabi namin dun sa vlog 15 na pag may mga mali ka or may mga kulang ka yung i-email ka ng CIC kung ano yung mga missing mo. So, ito yun, no? tingnan mo yung alam ko nung December 22, eh, no? request letter kasi may kulang kami. Yung request letter nila, guys. So, yeah. So, sinabi niya dito, oh, Dear Charlene, this reference to your application for temporary residence, the following documents are required to continue processing your application. So, ito yung mga nilagay nila, oh, yung mga kulang daw ni Charlene. So, yung client information, provide a study plan describing... Oh. So, meron kami talagang guideline talaga nun, love, na kahit na, kahit may kulang kami or may na kalimutan kami, parang hindi ako nag-worry kasi yeah. tutulungan ka naman nila. CIC, yeah. igaguide ka nila. So, yan ang magandang example. Yeah. So, no <laughs> nung na-complete na ni Charlene yung ano niya, yung mga files, yung files mga niya. applications. Okay. Yes, ito yung naging notification namin from CIC for the ano visa printing. So, basahin mo na bang sinabi dyan. Dear Charlene Joy Valley, this is in reference to your application for temporary residence. A, a decision, decision has, has been, been made, made on your application. application. We, we require your passport, passport to finalize processing your application. Boom! Last. So yun na yun. Yun na yun. Ito na yung naging notice namin na pag submit namin ng mga paperwork niya tapos pagbayad namin sinabi niya nila you're good to go. This is not an approval yet just so you know. Wow. So this is not an approval yet. Hindi mo masasabing naging successful yung application mo hanggat wala yung nakatatak na visa sa passport. So dito, mga March 5, di pa kami. Medyo kinakabahan pa kami. Ganyan. Continuing, so nung padala na ni Charlene yung passport niya sa embassy, after ilang araw to? 17 minus 5. 12 days. Mga almost 2 weeks, right? Nakareceive kami ng notice na. Ito na yung result. Dear Charlene Joy Valley, oh. your application to study in Canada has been approved. Wow, so, wala na ka ba, ka ba? Wala na. So, yun na nga, na-approve na. Tapos, nung nat natatakan na yung passport niya, pinadala na sa amin, pabalik yung passport niya. Tapos, that was it. That was it. Tapos, ngayon, nandito na siya. Nag-aaral na siya. <laughs> and she's finally here. Yes. Yeah. So, yun lang. Very simple. And, um, kagaya na sinabi ko, ulitin lang natin, but this time naman, 
um, married ka or gusto mong isama yung pamilya mo. So,